So uh, we are going to uh, talk about a little fun, fun little project that I've been working on the last couple of days. Uh, I've been trying to run Mac OS on Raspberry Pi uh, via emulator called Shape, Sheep Shaver. Um, and so I have already have everything installed, configured, and tested. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to have a quick demonstration of uh, what it looks like. Um, I will provide the links to the files and, and the downloads in the description. Um, and so you can download the files and set it up, uh, you know, whenever you like um, and however you like. So uh, once you have uh, SheepShaver um, emulator installed, uh, it will create a folder called Mac ARM. You can rename it however you want. Uh, there's an executable, there's a PPC file. What you would need to do is you need to download this Mac OS ROM. Again, I will provide the link in the description and you will then create a hard drive file. Um, at this point, this is a 500 gig, or sorry, 500 meg storage. Um, and uh, we will see how it runs. Um, so C Mac ARM. And then we're gonna run sudo at sp. And uh, shaver. This will uh, start the control panel or the control interface. Um, so volume, I have already create, created the, the hard drive. You can you know click on create. You can add the ISO if you have it. Um, I already have the Mac OS installed. So um, again, I will also provide the link to the uh, Mac OS 9.04. Um, ISO file to, in the description as well, so you can actually install it yourself. Um, the graphics right now um, is running at full 1080p, um, and it's running at max, uh, full screen, maximum resolution, and we'll show you what it looks like. I was actually surprised to see that Mac OS 9 can actually handle 1080p, but um, you will see pretty soon. Everything else is pretty standard, pretty straightforward. Um, I am going to set this to 512 max of RAM. And yes, that is correct, 512 max of RAM. Uh, for Mac OS 9, this is actually a lot. Um, back in the days, I think I had a Mac that started with an 8 max of RAM, and my main machine eventually had, I believe, 256, and that considered to be a lot of memory. So uh, here we go. We're going to start this, and you will see that it runs at full screen mode, and it's going to start... Mac OS, Mac OS 9, it's going to load extensions. And once that all that stuff is done, it's going to load the desktop. Um, and again, this is pretty vanilla. Um, I didn't have any specific, anything specific configured for Mac OS 9. I was just trying to, um, you know, get the OS installed in the emulator and make sure it works. Uh, I think my ultimate goal at some point is to also 3D print a Mac classic color case. Um, obviously, you know, not exactly the same size, but um, it will be something that is equivalent to that. Um, looks potentially similar to a Mac co classic color um, and, uh, you know, have the Raspberry High built into it and the screen and all that stuff and, uh, you know, make it look like it's running Mac OS 9, uh, which is something that could potentially actually do, um, you know, back in the days with the actual hardware. Um, so obviously the resolution will be a little bit different. Um, so instead of running 1080p, it's going to be running, you know, whatever the native resolution that the screen has. So, um, and so here's pretty much it. Uh, this is loaded to the desktop. I've um, actually... I've actually deleted a bunch of stuff. Um, there was a bunch of shortcuts on the on the desktop, and I just deleted them. Um, didn't really think that they needed them, but uh, so you know, it comes with browsing the internet, you know, QuickTime, and all that stuff. Um, but you know, to make sure that this uh, this is something that you see, um, it does run Mac OS nine. It's got five twelve max of RAM, um, and unused is four hundred eighty, so it's only used thirty two megs of RAM. Um, which is pretty astonishing. Um, and then we can take a look at some of these little things in here. Uh, we can do Apple Profiler. This is actually the first time I'm running this. So I'm actually uh, interested to see what it reports as. Um, so obviously software is this. Um, it's got 512 max of RAM. Um, it is actually 
report it as a Power Macintosh 9500 series, uh, PowerPC G4, wow. Uh, machine speed is actually 100 megahertz. That's interesting. Um, again, it's pretty fast. Uh, consider that this is emulation and, um, you know, the, the, the system is actually quite funny to, to see. Uh, it's going to go through the other part. Um, now, it's, the refresh rate is a little slow because I'm actually running VNC um, on the Raspberry Pi so that I can actually record this. Um, and then control panel. So there's really not much in here that's going to show you all the control panels, um, components, um, and then applications that really don't have any much applications. Let's see what kind of extensions it's going to find. Um, quite a bit, actually. It's 110. Wow. Did not realize there's that many that many extensions in the default Mac OS. Um, so, anyways, um, this is the that back to Finder. Man, this is nostalgic seeing uh, Mac OS nine, the pre Mac OS ten. Um, you know what it used to look like. So this is uh, the calculator. Uh, really don't have much out here. I don't want to browse the internet. I don't think I have the network set up just yet. Um, and then I think Sherlock is the other one that could potentially work. Um, sticky notes, obviously, this is the false sticky notes. I test one, two, three. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is um, kind of it. Um, obviously, you got control panels. Um, I'm gonna actually go to the uh, monitor again. This is part where I get kind of surprised to see it actually supports 1080p. Um, <laughs> supposedly at 75 hertz, uh, but it has other resolutions that you know is more default to the older hardware. Um, and then we are going to take a look at anything else. Let's see, control strip, yep. Uh, energy saver, extension manager, yeah, these are the old school. General control, I don't remember what's in general control. So, okay, so the type of blinks, uh, the menu blinks, the cursor blinks, um, any kind of warnings or anything. Um, also, I don't have any sound hooked up to it. It's supposed to have sound. I don't have any uh, speakers hooked up to it just yet. So um, so yeah, so that's this is pretty much it. Um, you know, obviously we have, uh, there's a software update. What? Don't remember that. Click on the button. Of, I highly doubt that this is not going to work. Uh, well, pretty sure it's not going to work. Um, yeah, we're not finding new updates. <laughs> so, anyways, this is Mac OS 9 running on Raspberry Pi through Sheep Shaver. Get out of this. Oh, I'm forgetting something special. Shut down. Yes, I do want to shut down. Those that would you like to share the. Shut it down. And then back to Raspberry Pi desktop. 